Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in with this week's Power Book yeah, for man. Season 1, Episode 10, Family Beasts. The season finale, Listen, man. Listen, we, we apologize here. for not coming on last week. I am a caregiver. I was caregiving, and then we went out of town. We took our moms out on a vacation for the week. So we're back. And yeah, we're not, so we might do a little teeny bit of recap or references to episode nine. We don't really know. But anyway, shout outs to the fam. Yeah, Lamont man. came through Dude, with, with the, the sweatshirt. With the sir. hoodie. Yeah. They Baby. Be, yeah. I like, can't wait. Yes, indeed. Until it's, it gets cooler. Yeah, because they, it's, the, the temperatures are going up in the VA. So once the, the temperature drop back down again. Definitely gonna be rocking these, so man. Thank you, fam. Thank you, Lamar. I love Yeah, man. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. it. Absolutely. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. Woo yeah, this week, Woo man. Uh, first, I want to start this all by saying I was not expecting to lose Liliana tonight. Bro. I figured, I figured, because everybody else been losing their closest man except for Tommy. So I figured it was gonna happen. She was one of the loyalest, toughest chicks. On power, man. And and to think that we really didn't even know how we were going to take her. Like, we didn't yeah, know yeah. <laughs> if she was playing both sides of the field. Really, I still kind of had my side eye on her, but she did now, so it don't even matter. But she did prove herself to me, though. She, she did. proved herself. Man, I felt so bad for Tommy, but we're going to get there. We yeah, gonna get man. There. And then Walter pissed, pissed us off once again, which we what already knew. What do you mean? With, what with, you this, mean? with this bullshite with this that he's doing. <laughs> So the episode starts off um, picking up from last week. We know that Vic, not Vic, uh, Walter called in to Dublin for the four horsemen to come down here to hit back at the Serbs and Tommy. Now, Polly was like, this is a stretch. No, we don't need these dudes because uh -huh. this little petty bullshit we dealing with ain't because of all this. It's because of you. Mm. And Polly, he... <laughs> Polly is very loyal to. It's like yeah, he tells to Walter the, he told he tells Walter the truth, but he still be loyal, like you said, to a fault. Mm -hmm. So these dudes come all strapped up, ready to go. I know they ain't come through TSA, not the way they harass right. me. <laughs> <laughs> and so we got Tommy on the other side, knowing exactly what's happening, and I don't have a clue how Liliana knew. That these Dublin people, That's they, they was coming from Dublin. I see. <laughs> I still had my good eye on her because how is it that she knows the stuff she knows? Like I guess she said she keep her ear to the streets, man. I do too, but I ain't even know they were coming. Yeah, so she knew they was coming. So Tommy had to do a desperate move because you remember last episode, he went to Diamond to say, Diamond, hey, they coming. I need, I need your help. I need your help. <laughs> we need some soldiers. And Diamond was like, I told you. We, we we held up by in the last time. You on your own. Yeah, you on your own this time, bro. I, I am not. We are not doing that. So he had, he had to end up going and doing a deal with Murkovich. And I was like, that, that happened on this episode. And I was like, Tommy, dang. But yeah. at the same time, he we know that he still have to do what he needs to do because he's the one man. He coming to Chicago by himself. He has no crew. He has no army. So right. he has no choice. Comes to show how much Tommy has developed and got smart, and I believe from working with Ghost. Of course. So absolutely. with him not being ready when he was in New York and taking a, you know, taking the backseat to Ghost, now he's prepared to make these type of moves. And I'm like, Dawn, you got you killed Murkovic's Rick. men and you went in <laughs> yeah. for a deal for two million. And you didn't die. And <laughs> Murkovic gave up one of his own men that shot uh what you call it? And I'm like I really? Said, first of all, I'm like, where's y'all loyalty know? at, man? But that's why later on in the episode, Tommy was like, they're on my team and on my side for now. Yeah. But they're not going to always be loyal. And I was like, yeah, because if they gave up their man that did a job just like that, just because you stuck, what they going to do when the next man stops in and wants to do a big, a better deal? Then you right. you the next one. So it's whoever got the best deal, exactly who, <laughs> who gets the deal. Sounds like corporate America. So, uh, so we uh, we saw this one coming. We knew that Jannard was coming at uh, Diamond from last uh -huh. episode. They was down in the basement, and I'm like, this goes to show you how 
Not Super. smart. <laughs> uh, he is. It's like you at your brother's barber shop. And you got smack. one time check upstairs and make sure he's not there while you talking smack. And then talking about you're gonna dethrone him. So and he heard you. They so got no kind of cameras in there. Like I don't get it. So in uh, in this episode. Uh, he said, we, we know him by Reggie from that's the shop. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's forever Reggie. So he sent Reggie and him over there to do the job. But when, um, Dom, cause Dom was at the shop and, um, Journal Bay was over there with him too. <laughs> <laughs> and so Janar had called him and was like, Hey bro, you over at the shop? He was like, yeah, I'm here. All right. I'm coming through. So he told her, we got to go. We got to go now. She questioned it like, he's like, we ain't got time for this. We got to go. So as soon as they got out there and got in the car, here come Reggie them in there with, you know, Bow. ready to take him out. I said, that's messed and up. And I'm like, God, don't understand. Like, now. did we really get here? So, at this point, Diamond really still doesn't have proof that it was his brother that did the hit. But, but he, he has a suspicion that he had something to do with it. So, he went and kidnapped Reggie. I said, Reggie can't catch a <laughs> break, man. <laughs> oh, every show every he's show. on, he end up the same dead, eh, Reggie? Yep. <laughs> So he got him whooping his A, tearing him up, hitting him with the bat. And at first, I thought Reggie was going to hold his own at first. Nah, not Reggie. Yeah, so he, he ended up spilling. He said it was your brother, Janard, the one that sent me for the hit. He was like, I figured that, but I just needed to hear that. And this is when you talk it, yourself into a bullet. He was like, this is why Janard wanted to take over because you got out of prison and now you, you soft. We go. So first of all, like I said, he talked himself into a yeah. bullet. The first, the last thing you ever want to say to a black man is, "You saw so, or mm -hmm. you a simp." Yeah. That right there <laughs> just is gonna make them act a daggone fool. And what did he do? He act caught the he, fool. He caught another body. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So JP is still hot that Tommy didn't let him know that he had met his son a few weeks ago. But I was like, Tommy had just. Was fine and out. Him too. Right. So, you know, he's trying to, you know, filter this information. Like, I I, I don't think I would have brought him immediately. You know. No. Nah, nah. <laughs> I got to make sure this boy's legit. You know, he could have came in and put a, a bullet in uh, JP's head, you know, just for coming out. You know, he mad. You know, his daddy wasn't there. So, <laughs> so they all had the hospital, right? And, of course, D-Mac comes at JP sideways. You know, like, you know, why you, why you, why your punk ain't here? And he was like, JP instantly went apologizing. All oh, this is my fault. That's you know, how a real absentee yeah. parent is supposed yes. to approach the situation. He did not go on making excuses, excuses or no nothing. nothing. He took full responsibility Accountability for it. Right out the gate. And I said, you know what? Much respect. Much yeah. respect. But he's still pissed off at Tommy. <laughs> so Tommy, you know, like. you know, Tommy, his fashion to try to make things right. He go to the store and buy him a Cubs shirt, um, some moon pies, and some soda. Like, first skin. of all, that's yeah. borderline racist, yeah, right. Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> all he needed to bring in there was a Star Crunch and a Sprite, and that would have been all the way racist. <laughs> first right. of all, because you know black people love them <laughs> a moon pie. Uh, yep. Except for me, I don't I hate I mean, them I like, things. I haven't had one in a while, though, but they good, though. Man, them things taste like, like pillow foam. <laughs> so, at the hospital, JP... Doesn't have any of D Mac's uh, uh, medical records, in which we need to start calling him D Mac because when when, when Tommy said it, he said his name is not D Mac, it's, it's Darnell. It's Darnell. <laughs> My bad. But I do like that Tommy told him was like this boy is smarter than me and you put, put together. together. He ain't get that from and, my mama's side of the family. Yeah, right. <laughs> and because of that, we not gonna let him stay in this game. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? Much respect, Tommy. Much respect. So JP sent Tommy back to the house to go and get the papers. But Tommy's like, I'm a little busy right now. JP, I'm busy too. I mean, he pissed JP off. I said, it's just a light. <laughs> I'm busy too. So Tommy goes back over to the house. And the first thing you he see holes in the wall. And he hears something moving around. He said, them goddamn no, crackheads. That's what I thought too. I said, them winning that goddamn I said, them got it that fast. Come around the corner and it's a god darn Kate. I said, oh, hell, not Kate. Hey, she ain't changed nothing. Her mama ain't even cold in the ground yet. And she you at the house. The at the house breaking the walls. And so when she got money all up and through oh, these walls. Thousands. I said, first of all, you said thousands. It ain't like you was talking about some millions. But let's circle back. The fact that JP was trying to actually call 
her once more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she did a a move on. Look, this she, this she she connected her. Phone. Kate Black, for she, sure. She black. She black. Mm. <laughs> oh my, my my kid don't found me, man. And tell us, <laughs> change the number, change the number. So Tom was like, you need to get out of here. You need to go back to New York. Go back under the rock that you came from under. <laughs> but every time, Tommy is very, very tough when Kate is not around. But when she comes around, he you can mush. still see the little boy coming out of him. It's like, give me a smoke. Yeah, <laughs> give me a pack of smoke. Yeah. <laughs> so he, she, she come, I think she pulled this out her A. Out her a. I still he don't know part. that she wanted to meet JP and she wanted to meet her grandson. But you done she disconnect the money. You, Yeah, you done disconnected the phone. Yeah. She wanted and, the money. And Tommy said, he ain't got no money. He broke. <laughs> <laughs> and they're in the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> so what we what they're in the hospital for? His son. So Tommy tried to hand hand her hand her money to hope she'd go away. She was like, no, I'm still gonna go see him. So she ends up <laughs> So she ends up going to the hospital. We skip along here. She ends up going to the hospital. And this was the funniest part. This this oh happened God. a little later, but why it's on my mind. D back said, What's that old white bee? <laughs> Tommy said, That's your grandma. That's your grandma. And she likes to be called that. that. <laughs> so do it continuously. I said, Tommy, don't do that. <laughs> But this right here got me right here. As soon as JP saw her, I thought he was going to just go off. I did too. But he was just so grateful to see her that he hugged her. She was like, what do oh, I do with this? What okay. do I do with this? <laughs> yeah, because you could tell, you know, she ain't used to getting love from her son. And then she's going she to have the nerve to tell Tommy, that's how you greet a son. I greet your I mean, mother. I mean, greet your mother. A son supposed to greet their mother. Tell her whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Man, she did a nope on them kids. <laughs> yeah. And and then they end up leaving and leaving her there <laughs> with D Mac. I said, You gonna leave Kate? There with D Mac? The person that doesn't have a maternal bone in her body, you gonna leave her there with her grandson? But usually parents that suck as parents are awesome grandparents. Yeah. It's like they try to get a redo through them grandkids. <laughs> and also at the hospital too, we can't forget that uh D Mac let Tommy know. Who was the one that took the shot at them? He was kind of asking them different questions, and it all swam back on down that it was CBI because Tommy said he knew that was not the four horsemen style. I don't know yeah. why he know what they style <laughs> is. He said they're for their straight military, <laughs> yeah, like so, sniper type of stuff. Yeah, so that he said that wasn't even something that they would do. Yeah, but yeah. we're gonna go back a little bit. D Mac, why did y'all go up there to cousin and them trying to work a deal? Yeah. But did nobody ask? See, that's how he almost got. He almost got his tail whooped. He better be lucky he was a nephew. He better he be lucky, lucky, lucky he was a nephew. You pull a Tariq move, man. He did. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah. Yup, and we know Tommy. Don't make no moves without letting him know first, cause mm -hmm. he don't want to know. Hey, did you tell him my name? He was like, No, that, I didn't tell me. But I promised him. Like, what? That remind me. We we had to go to the police station because we had a. Uh, Stalker. Yeah, I wasn't going to say it, but you just said it. The cat's out the bag. <clears throat> and the police officer was talking to this dude, and the police officer started telling, telling his name when he's behind the glass. And the dude was like, man, stop stop calling my name out loud. I was getting the public like, like this. this. <laughs> All these people out here. Yeah, and then we got to the wonder. He asked us what our name was and what our social security number was, too. Who's like? I said, you need to take yeah, this yeah, idea. You come around here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what the world? But that dude was serious. Like, man, stop calling my name out loud again. <laughs> he said, that's how people get shot. <laughs> All right, so from last episode, we're going to talk about this right here because we know that Walter manipulated oh my God. Uh, Claudia and Vic into believing that he got nothing to do with any of this bullshit. <laughs> and, and now he got them on their side and then they're saying they're not going to do anything against the family. So they are in on this thing, you know, and Claudia got in because she was invited into the war room. And uh, Vic is finally being respected as a leader, as it appears. Uh -uh. <laughs> so now it's time to do the hit because all day Tommy been trying to get in touch with, with Claudia. And so he went to uh, Liliana and was like. 
something is wrong because Claudia is not picking up. She been ghosting me, so I know something is messed up. So, <clears throat> Lily, I said, I know what you said, a nurse at the hospital? Yeah. And she was like, you know, you know, he got he got shot. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, is he okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, he all right. He said, well, you could have started the conversation with he was all right. But then he was like, you know, she didn't know anything about Gloria at yeah, the moment or whatnot. Right. So, uh, they were planning their first hit on them. And so, they were at the bar. And one of the guys from Dublin was like, we we have a little bit too much fun. Mm -hmm. Now we out here on a hit, and if your father found this going on like this, Vin, I don't think Vic, I don't think he gonna be too happy. So this girl ends up luring one of the dudes on the outside, and we already knew it was a setup when she mm -hmm. said she was gonna get him some head. As soon as he went down, they just came him. up <laughs> and sent the message, gutted him in the throat, and I said gutted him, in. <laughs> him in the throat, gutted him in the throat, cut his throat, uh, hung, hung him upside down. down. So that they can find him like that. And of course, Vic, I mean, uh, Victor is hot. Y'all up in there trying to have fun. <laughs> and he was like, Walter. Kill. Yeah, Walter. And now he's killed because y'all was in there having fun. Now he wants to take the bull by the horns and do it himself. So Claudia ended up coming up and saying, hey, and Claudia had been trying to tell them that I, I can get, we can get him at the lab. But they wouldn't listen to her at first. Mm -hmm. So now that one of the horsemen is dead, now she can talk. Of so she was like, I, uh, somebody let me know where he at. So we need to go over there. Mm -hmm. So that's when they got strapped up, went over to the lab to hit that up. But we know Tommy then was already ready uh -huh. with um, uh, Merkovic crew, the Serps. And so soon they went in, they started blasting and ended up killing all of them except for Vic. And the other and dude... Together. I said, they done lost a whole lot of people in a little bit of time. But Walter told him, said, whatever you do, make sure my, my boy, boy comes, comes back, back home. A life. A life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, when it, when they got back, he was like, what kind of ambush stuff y'all got us in? So, now they figuring out, y'all y'all pulling us in a bullskit. And they sitting, your numbers are down. Yeah, yeah. And they sitting there waiting on us at the lab. How mm -hmm. did they know that? Mm -hmm. So, of course, they started questioning Claudia about it. Like, yeah. how did you know that? Yeah. Is it a tip yeah. for you were inside man? Right. So, <laughs> this thing this thing is really, 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 really getting ugly now. Mm -hmm. All right. So, now everything is messy. So, Liliana decides that um, they had to end up moving the lab to this. I don't know where they were at. Yeah. <laughs> um, that uh, Pharmacy Bay was like. This this ain't this ain't clean, you know. We, gotta, like, we can't we can't. We be, ain't here cooking meth. Right, yeah. <laughs> so he just told me, all right, get to work. But when Tommy left, Tommy um Liliana oh, ended up giving her money and told her, you know what? You gotta go. You gotta go because uh, I've seen this before. Yeah, that you basically on your own. Like I'm a soldier. I'm in this. JP is family. So he automatically protected. He already he already protected. Where that lead you? Where that lead you? You need to get up <laughs> out of here because I've seen this looking Tommy before. And anybody can go. <laughs> so, um, the first thing that Claudia was said is that she needs to find out what's time of weakness. So, what was she did? They kidnapped Pharmacy Bay. Mm -hmm. And she gave up Tommy's weakness, which we already know. Family. It's family. And the first thing they did was when, when JP was over at the house to go get d uh medical records, looking at the picture of them. Hey, they come in and they kidnapped the man. I said, not JP. <laughs> JP don't bother nobody. He just be trying to pay his bills. That's it. Trying to come out the hole, man. Uh-huh. And, and take care of his daddy. And matter of fact, he wanted to stay in the game. Because remember, this, yes. was, this was last episode. Uh, he was saying, uh, I need to stay hole. in a little bit longer. I'm coming out the hole, but I need to stay in a little bit longer. Because I need yeah. some cushion. That's usually exactly what happened. I'm on back in the day. Every cat said, I'm going to get into the game. I'm going to sell me a couple of dime bags. So I can get out the hole. And as soon as I get out the hole, I'm going to stop. And then y'all will be like, I'm out the hole now. I need a little bit of extra. And uh -huh. you don't stop. And then you in handcuffs. Yep, you're a whole kingpin. Yep, or dead. That part. Yeah. All right, so now back back to Janard. Oh, Janard God. ends up having to go and go to Merkovich them to work out a deal. Because Janard told him that we all have one common enemy, which <laughs> is Tommy Egan. So if you help me take him out, we can basically be back where we were. But, uh, 
uh, he would tell him uh, Merkowitz was tell he would tell him Merkowitz what I can what do is Merkowitz. <laughs> if I'm saying his name right, was like I know that you still have beef with the Flins, mm -hmm. and I can make that go away, and we can kill Tommy. And once again, the he, he was like, "Deal." It's like, "It's <laughs> a Darren Merkovic. Like God doing. It's like you, you ain't, you ain't about getting revenge for the for your man. It's like so whoever comes in with the best deal, like we said, you just go along with it. Yep. So this is when the Janar end up going over to Walter, Walters. and we remember how that meeting went down the last time. <laughs> All the racial slurs that you know Diamond had to end up walking out because. It, it won't go it be good. Bad. Yeah, it was bad. So Vic won't have it. Vic said, so now we doing deals with, with CBI now. Mm -hmm. And so Janal was like, for you to have to sit down with me, I know somebody got you scared as hell. And he said, well, you <laughs> You want to hear me here? Somebody had you scared, scared as hell. <laughs> <laughs> we all in the big same boat. <laughs> <laughs> you got him down back. Yeah, we all in the, the same, same boat. <laughs> 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 so Janar hits him with this. Janar tells him, "Hey, I've talked to Merkowitz. Merkowitz. Mer I've what talked to Merkowitz. What is his name? Whatever. It don't matter. Yeah, I've talked to Merkowitz, and he has agreed that we all have the common enemy, Tommy Egan, and that he's willing to squash all the beef and end the war if we all take out Tommy Egan." I said, they talking I'm about saying, Tommy saying, like he's like a big entity, like he's an LLC or something. <laughs> right. <laughs> he basically is because he got all of them. He got all, all of them, them scared. All of them scared. So uh, we already know if it had not been for the situation that they were under, this this war that he started, mm -hmm. we know that he would never did that deal with, with Janard. So now that brings us to what we were just talking about, that now they got JP. And Tommy is on the phone, and Tommy hears Janar's voice, <laughs> Vic's voice, Claudia, uh, uh, <coughs> Walter. Walter. So he know all of them are there, and so they basically threaten him that if he doesn't come to X location on X day, that they gonna kill his brother. And once again, Tommy said, "You know that I wasn't the one that put the hit out on Gloria." And he's looking you in your eyes. Yep, y'all know how I, I work. So we fast forward, they end up, uh, see, he's end up uh, going back again and talking to Diamond. So we know Diamond's back is against the wall now because now he knows Jannard is he after him. him. And now Tommy got, you know, the, the four horsemen, them and Flynn, them trying to come after him. So that automatically, we already knew they were going to be working together. Of course. So they end up devising a plan. And he told him, say, they picked a location where when the bullets started shooting, nobody can hear and nobody can hear it. And they got protection from all of the dirt and machinery and all that skit. So I was like, this is what I wanted to see because we always been the whole time wanted them to continue to work together. Yeah. So after the split up, when 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 they had did the job with the service to get the pipeline, you know, that was supposed to have been the end. But we was like, nah, can't they, they coming back together. They coming back together. So they they at the spot, and I love the plan that they came with. He made it look like he got Tommy for trying to skip town on them. Yeah. <laughs> so he couldn't do an immediate shot. Nobody yeah. could do an immediate kill. So this is Tommy's opportunity to once again put out there to Vic and them that Vic, you you did a job with me. You know how I you, work. You know how I work. I would I would have never ever put a hit like that out on Gloria. Mm -hmm. But I want to let you know it was your father was the one that put the hit out of that. And he's a piece of shit. <laughs> and so the whole time Vic is like, is it what true? Is it true? Is it true? And then Claudia comes around the corner and was like, tell Vic that. Tell Vic that Tommy is right. That you was the one that put out the hit. Please tell him. And Walter was still lying. And the way that Claudia knew was because she shook Janard down. Because Janard is really a cokehead. Yeah. So anytime she breaks out something, he just be like this. Yep. <laughs> Especially with the dowel. Yeah. What, what do you need to know? What do you need to know? And he was like, you know, nah, Tommy ain't had nothing to do with that. That was all your daddy. So it broke out where they started shooting. 
Jannar took off running, and so Tommy told them to told him to go after your brother. And I thought that Diamond was gonna kill Jannar. I thought he did. Well, but he gave him an ultimatum though, which ugh. he said either uh you can take this part of territory, and I take that part, we go our separate ways, or I can end this right here. And take it off. Which I thought, because he shot. I said, oh my God, he done shot Jannar. He done shot Jannar. And Jannar was shook too. He was like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After all this big kerfuffle, we thought that Polly was going to take out Walter. I wanted him to take out Because now the truth is out. And let's think about this. That Walter put a hit out on Gloria that put Vic at risk of being shot. But you run around town going crazy, making it look like they was the one that did it and went and started killing them mm -hmm. when you was the one to put the head out. Yep. Putting Polly in danger. Yeah. Polly already told you, we don't have the manpower to start this kind of war. Yeah. And he already been telling him that you, what you're trying to do to bring your kids <clears throat> in closer, all you're doing is pushing them further and further away. Yep. So that's why I thought Polly was going to be the one that was going to take Walter out. But at the same time, let me, let me tell y'all something. Yeah. Have y'all heard him cough not one time in these last two episodes? Nope. Don't he still got cancer? <laughs> After the doctor told him he had a lot, a whole lot of time left, he stopped coughing. <laughs> Ain't been to one treatment. Nope. <laughs> he must have smoked weed. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, you know, black people swear that cures everything. It kind of does, though. But anyway, we we're not going to talk about that. So this this was the scene that when when Claudia was the one that killed Liliana man, <laughs> and <clears throat> because if she didn't, that's she was getting ready to take out Walter and Vic. Yep, and she should have. But yeah, uh, yeah, and so at uh, you know towards the end, time was like whoever did this, <laughs> they gonna pay. They gonna pay. And Claudia came up, it got to be a deal we can work out. I'm like, you gave yourself up. Just yeah. shh. Yeah, just hush be quiet. up. Yeah, he, he would have never known because mm -hmm. she can't tell on you. Because mm -hmm. Thomas said, Thomas said, best believe I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. He was upset, man. He was yeah. like, come on, girl, breathe, breathe. Somebody call the app. Yeah, call I mean, the ammo lamps. Yeah, because she was the loyal soldier to him, man. She had his back. Mm -hmm. Even though even though they had their, their, their rough patches, man, but she she been there. Yeah. She been a ride or die for him, man. So, but every time, every time Tommy has a ride or die, they all he always end up losing them, man. Kids want to ride them anyway. Yeah, that part. <laughs> <laughs> but the people that he loved the most, yes, always die. Always dies. Yep. Yeah. Dang. So towards the end of the episode, we see Tommy and Diamond sitting down, looking at that same map <laughs> that Tommy broke out when he came into Chicago. And he and Don was like, you know, this is our little spot. It's it's, it's a little small. And uh Tommy said, but it's yours. But and uh yeah, Dom said it's yours. And then uh uh Diamond said, I'm I'm not fooling with that dialy skit. And Tommy said, Me too, yeah. I'm done. I got something I got, I got something bigger. I said, What you got? got? What you got? He said, I'm gonna take the whole map. I said, Really, Tommy? Said, <laughs> Here we 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 just we we just got everybody on a level playing field. But now we got even bigger problems. Well, it's not even a bigger problem. Now we got the whole situation now where my um, son and daughter really don't left the father yeah. for good. And he's sitting over there drinking his but, cares away. Yep. That's what I thought Polly was going to put a bullet That's in. That's what but, I did too. But he, he just took the bottle and put it down and whatnot. I was like, Polly, kill him. Kill him. Out of just, just being loyal to the game, just kill that joker. Yeah. He ain't do it. So I can't wait for season two to see um Diamond and Tommy rolling what we wanted to see this episode and just see like how because we see that Gloria not Gloria we see that Vic and Claudia is going to be uh <clears throat> working together yeah it appears but remember no, wait, she also did a deal with the other guy that was left because he didn't get killed. Yeah, I, yeah, he got killed at the end. Yes, he did. Yeah, Liliana he did. put two in him. That's right. I forgot about that because she had did a deal all with... All the horsemen got killed Yeah, all of them. Yeah, that's right. They came into town to get killed. So that's what's going to happen when they get back to Dublin? Is they going to send some more of them down here? Like, what the hell's going on? Well, how many of them is it? And then you can, we can't forget, we still got um, uh, Good Eye and Gary. 
Cause you remember, yep. So and J um, and D Mac promised, promised them promised them four, four, four bricks. So yeah, so season two and and gonna be uh gonna be pretty interesting, man. Yeah, it is. So man, we thank y'all for sticking around with us on this season of Power Force. And we're going to catch y'all on next season. And also we're going to catch y'all on P-Valley in June. So y'all come back for P-Valley, man. Straight from the VA. Dirty, 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 dirty. Two up. Two, two down. down. Holla. Boom.